Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali, and today I'm going to be doing a sorority Q&A. I've done two of these in the past, and I will actually link those down below so you can go watch those as well. Just a little background about me. I am a senior at the University of Central Florida. I'm a Kappa Delta there, and I've been serving as the Vice President of Public Relations for two years now. And yeah, that's just a little bit about me, so let's get into these questions. I think the question that I get asked the most is, what are some of your biggest tips for the whole week? And honestly, I really never know where to start when they ask me that. Sometimes I just send them links to my videos because I have everything on my channel, like what to wear to sorority recruitment. I want to do an updated one of those because that is just a little bit, you know, outdated. <laughs> but I also have conversation starters and makeup tips and I have it all. So definitely check out my how to sorority playlist. I will link that down below as well. But if somebody asked me this question and I had to answer it within a minute, I would say maybe just keep an open mind definitely stay positive throughout the week because you know some people do get their feelings hurt really badly and sometimes it's just being a little bit dramatic no shade there but i would just say you know be positive about everything because everything works out in the end maybe wear sunblock bring hats definitely make sure you're comfortable the whole day because it's going to be very long it's going to be very tiring and very hot the next question is what made me choose to join a sorority and I'm pretty sure it's probably in one of my videos in the past. Basically, I've always known that I wanted to join a sorority, which is like insane because I knew I wanted to join a sorority even before my sister wanted to join a sorority. So, and we're like three years apart. I'm going to be honest, I kind of had like a preppy phase in high school. So I would always go on tumblr.com and just like literally love to see sorority stuff. It would just be weird to put it on my Tumblr, but I would still always just like want to be in a sorority. So going to college, I knew I had to go through recruitment. I just knew it. I knew I was going to do it. Like there was no stopping me at that point. Um, my sister was already in a sorority, so I didn't really have to convince my parents. Um, so that was lucky for me. Thanks, Nisha. <laughs> Doing everything first. That's the oldest child's job, I guess. <laughs> Next question is what type of bag should I bring to recruitment? And I would say a big ass tote bag because you're going to need a lot of things during recruitment. Um, just make sure it's like comfortable on your shoulder because you will be like carrying it around everywhere. But good news, at least at my school, you do not bring in the bags to the house. So you leave everything outside, it's under a tent, and people are watching your stuff so no one's going to steal it. Um, but I would say bring a big tote because you're going to need water, you're going to need a fan, you're going to need touch-up makeup, you're going to need another pair of shoes, and there's just so many things that you need to be prepared with, so it's just better if you just bring it, like a big beach tote, literally anything. The next question is, is it biased if you know someone in the sorority already? Um, rather than not knowing anyone in that sorority. I would say not at all for fall recruitment, but for spring recruitment, kind of. Spring recruitment is super informal and they kind of try to do it as fast as possible. So they try to get girls that our sisters already know. The next question is, is there drama between girls and your sorority? And I'm not gonna lie, like shit happens. Like you don't like every single person that you meet. And that's just being real with you guys, but I wouldn't say there's any like crazy drama. It's just that sometimes girls can be girls, so. The next question is, how do I stand out in recruitment? And I would just say, even if you're shy or if you're not shy, just try to keep the conversation going while you're talking to these sisters because it shows that you're actually interested and, you know, excited for this whole process. The next question is, what are some good conversation starters during house tours? I will link down below the video that I made talking about some of the questions that you can ask during recruitment. But specifically for house tours, you can talk all about, you know, living in the house, what it's like to hang out around the house, um, what times can you come in and out of the house, uh, you know, anything like that really. Maybe take this time to be more personal with the sister, so asking them about their experiences living in the house or just coming to the house every day or meal plan or anything like that, but definitely try to get more personal just because it is later on in the week. The next question is asking if it's harder to go through recruitment as a minority. She asks, don't bigs usually want their littles to look like them? All right, so let's start with the first question. Um, I personally didn't have that hard of a time. Even though my parents didn't really know what Greek life was because they weren't in it, 
Um, they kind of supported my decision and, you know, I've told them that I wanted to do it for a really long time before college because I was weird like that. But yeah, my sister was in it before me. So they kind of got like a sense um, for what it was from her. But while going through recruitment, um, I wouldn't say it was hard for me inside the houses, but I felt like I got some stares like outside of the houses when I was waiting in line from other girls going through recruitment. I felt like their eyes were just belittling me. Sometimes I would try to talk to people in line and I don't know, they were just kind of rude and I don't know why, like this is a time to meet people, this is a time to make friends. So I definitely wouldn't say that it was hard for me to go through recruitment as a minority, but I just feel like the girls that I went through recruitment with were, you know, not that nice. But like I said, just keep that positive attitude up, try to make friends around you because that will really determine how your week goes. And for the question about the bigs, I feel like if a girl wants her little to look like her, then I don't know, you shouldn't even want her as your big because a big and little relationship is like having a mentor and having a little sister. So if people actually think that, then they're just being a little dumb. <laughs> the next question is, is there any preparation that I should do before recruitment? And I actually just uploaded a seven ways to prepare for a sorority recruitment video. So definitely check that out. The link will be in the description. But basically an overview of that would just be preparing your outfits way ahead of time, maybe just reminiscing on your high school days, like what you did in high school, what were some of your positions in high school, all of that jazz. See, definitely get your recruitment bag ready, like breath spray, you know, and sandals and sunblock and stuff like that. I don't know, I can't remember all of it, but there's definitely some great tips in that video that I posted. The next question is, how do you stay positive throughout the process and how do you not get your hopes up about certain chapters? So I can definitely relate to this one because if you watch my vlog while I was going through recruitment on the outside, then you would know that I had two top houses and one of them dropped me. And after that, I'm gonna be honest, I had trust issues with every single house. And even before that, like I didn't wanna get my hopes up so high um, about any house because I knew that was a possibility that they might drop me and I wouldn't be able to go back to their house the next day. So I would just say, enjoy the people you meet enjoy the sororities and actually get to know about the sororities because you will have more of an appreciation when you do get into your sorority um, about other houses. Staying positive is a little bit hard because you might be thinking like, oh my god, why did they drop me? What's wrong with me? You definitely have to think about it from a different perspective and not your own because maybe they saw you fitting in at another chapter and being able to thrive there and being pushed out of your comfort zone. And I feel like that's the most important thing is to like be able to thrive in a house. You wanna be able to get those positions and maybe be on council or executive boards. So you always have to trust the process and just keep an open mind. The last question is what are the chances that you won't receive a bid from any house? And I don't really know like a number probability, but I will say that it is possible. But most of the time you will get one house back, whether it's your first or your second choice. And if it is your second choice, please just enjoy your bid day, enjoy that weekend as a whole because maybe if you're not negative about it, you'll actually end up loving it. Like I know a handful of people in my PC that chose Katie as their second choice and ended up loving it and are still in Katie till this day. So it definitely is a possibility of getting back no houses, but I would just say do not suicide, which means just putting like one house on your preference choice. Um, and yeah, just keep an open mind and trust the process. So that is it of this video. So definitely check out all my other sorority recruitment videos to help you prepare for recruitment. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.